Hey, good morning, friends. Today is Tuesday, October 1st, 2024, and the time now is 6.53 a.m. So today, I want to talk briefly about the passing of an African giant, Dikembe Mutombo. However, I want to first remind you that you are watching the Echoing Voice. And on this channel, I talk about politics, geopolitics, and social issues, especially with an African perspective. Now, friends, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Please share the link to this video. And also, please share the link to this channel. Now, friends, today I am going to be starting a new series titled The African Diaspora Series. Once again, this is the first video of October and the first video of a new series, the African Diaspora series. This series is going to feature videos, programs, ideas, and talks pertaining to members and institutions and societies that basically makes up the African Diaspora. What they are doing to better themselves, what they are doing to better the African diaspora or Africa in general, and what they are doing to better the young people or the people of the African diaspora. Also, I want to apologize for talking too much, but I just want to set the stage and also let you know about what this channel is about, especially if you're watching this uh, video or a video from this channel for the first time. On this channel, the echoing voice, each country will have at least two playlists. For example, one playlist is going to be named the country's name, and then another playlist is going to be named domestic the country's name. So the country's name playlist is going to feature programs, videos, or talks pertaining to the country's position in geopolitics, how the country interact or is relating to other countries within its region and around the world. The playlist Domestic the Country's Name is going to feature videos, talks, programs, or ideas that basically focus or focuses on the domestic situation in the country, in the specific country, relating to economics, business, entrepreneurship, education, uh, food security, and so on, and so on, and so on. Now, once again, I want to apologize for the extra things that I just said. So I'm going to get back to the main topic of discussion or the main topic of my comment, my brief comment today. It is about uh, the African giant, a tree, an African tree on which many of the great Africans today and past, whether we are talking about people or player, athletes, the likes of Joel Embiid and also Luau Deng and so on. They all sit on the branches of Dikembe Mutombo. Dikembe Mutombo was originally from the DRC Congo, and he had been in the United States for a while. He played in the United States. This guy was an amazing player, an amazing defender or blocker. When he stood on the paint, guarding the, the net, the basket, you have to be very skilled, very good to dunk on this guy or to make a layup or whatever shot over this guy. He was an amazing player. So Dikimbi Mutombo died yesterday from brain uh, cancer. And it is a sad uh, thing for Africa and Africans and also even for the various teams that he played on as well as his families and friends, most especially. Because he was a good person, a good man, and also he was an amazing ambassador for Africa and for the NBA itself. This man basically came to the United States. He played. He was an amazing athlete. He went home to his country and even built uh, hospitals and helped with uh, various projects in his country and throughout Africa. The Kimbu Mutombo is going to be missed. And one of the sad things, however, about his passing is that he was a very young person. This guy was 58 years old. He died at the age of 58. So he was young. He was uh, very small, okay? 
even though he is a tall uh, figure, by the African standard, he was also a baby. He was very small, very young. Of course, people like me have to respect him. When you look at how African tradition goes, he is like a father figure. He will be like an elder or elderly, but still, compared to the various level of, of age in African culture, he basically was a baby, maybe the first tier or second tier of uh, the various ages of old people in Africa. But uh, it's a sad reality. When I found the news yesterday, I was actually doing some reading and I came across it. I came across a video remembering Dikembe Mutombo. So when I looked into the situation, having come across a video that was memorializing Dikembe Mutombo, I realized instantly that he had passed. And this is basically the trend or the norm. Every time I might stumble across a video that is memorializing someone or something, and right away I will realize that that person or that thing or that idea has passed. And it was the case for Dikimbi Mutombo. It is basically a sad uh, reality for basketball lovers and those people who are relating to Dikimbi Mutombo. Whether we are talking about his immediate friends and families and all of those people whom he touched. This guy was an amazing athlete. I remember watching Dikimbi Mutombo every night when the 76ers play. Whether we are talking about Dikimbi Mutombo and people such as Eric Snow, Allen Iverson, Aaron McKee, and all these guys, he was an amazing player. I remember watching Dikimbi Mutombo on multiple occasions. Whenever he makes a block, he basically will shake his finger at the person. No, not today, not on my watch. He was fun to watch. He was one of those guys who made me proud as an African. I remember being in the United States for the first time or during my early times in the United States when American kids, even teachers and students and random people, when they spoke bad about Africans, everything that was considered bad, not good, not clean, not cool was represented in every conversation as Africans. So for me and many of my friends, having Dikimbi Mutombo making plays and doing good things was one of the way that we found our joy and one of the ways that we were able to develop self-esteem okay and self-pride he was one of those uh africans during my early times in the united states in the west to basically impact me emotionally psychologically and in many other ways and i'm going to miss dikimbe mutombo I don't know his family. I have never met this guy. However, he's one of those people who had inspired me in many ways. Therefore, I'm going to miss him. And I send my uh, condolences to his friends and families. Now, my friends, I'm going to end here. Please tell me what you think. Please join the conversation. I want to hear what you think. And once again, please tell me what you think. But I want to thank you many times for being a member of the Echoing Voice community, and I want to thank you a lot for watching the Echoing Voice. Peace.